Space Mantis of the Marvel Universe truly like Mantis? Welcome back to Shelby on Safari and in today's video we are going to answer just that question. So you ready? Join the Safari and let's get started. In the comics, the priest of Pama trained Mantis in the martial arts and gave her the name Mantis because of her skill in defeating male opponents. Do Mantises of our world truly defeat their male opponents as well? You may have heard that praying mantises exhibit cannibalism, where they eat members of their same species. And in fact, females get a bad reputation for eating their male counterparts after mating. But is this really true or is it quite hyped up? It turns out not all species of mantids actually exhibit this cannibalism. And of the species that do, studies have shown that it only happens between 13 to 23% of the time. So the odds are in favor of the males not being on the dinner plate too often. And in fact, being eaten might not be a bad thing. I know, I know, hear me out. A study in 2016 found that when female Chinese mantises eat their mates, they appear to lay twice as many eggs as they normally would. But they also acquire important amino acids that are then incorporated into these eggs. Now, earlier in the year, I did a video on what real life animal is like the Pokemon Scyther. And in it, you met some of my baby praying mantises. Turns out they certainly grow up fast. Now, when they were little, I didn't necessarily want to house them together because they may have exhibited cannibalism and that's not something I particularly wanted to risk. So they've grown up and live in different enclosures and they have quite the interesting diet from mealworms to crickets and spiders. However, some of their counterparts eat, uh, well, birds. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Whoa. Specifically, hummingbirds. But back to the mantis of Marvel. She has quite the uh, range of powers because, well, she has control over her entire body. Not to mention the ability to accelerate healing through sheer force of will. Oof. Talk about willpower. She can control her blood flow, her heart rate, and her respiratory rate. But as we see in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Mantis is quite the empath. She can sense the emotions of others as psychic vibrations. But can mantises of our world feel vibrations as well? Mantises use an ear-like organ that's actually in the center of their chest to hear sound that's above 20,000 hertz, which happens to be just outside the range of human hearing. This comes in handy to avoid being eaten by bats because if they hear the sounds that bats make when making that final approach to snag their prey, the mantises will just change direction and go somewhere else. Quite the nifty skill to have. Mantis of the MCU sees things a little differently with her empath powers, and so too do mantises of our world. Quite literally see things differently than us. Mantis's vision revolve around the movement of objects. After all, they're sit and wait predators, so they don't want to risk moving and maybe scaring away their lunch per se, unless they know how far away they'll have to go. And their eyes aren't all what they seem. Just like Mantis of the comics isn't quite what she seems as well, given her interesting backstory, which is for another video. Mantises have compound eyes. And so let's take a closer look at one of my mantises. No, not named Mantis, but actually Gamora, another guardian of the galaxy. Now at a first glance, it looks like Gamora has pupils. However, these are just an optical illusion, if you will, because they don't actually have pupils like we do. This dark spot is actually light receptors, and they look black because they're absorbing all of the wavelengths of light. And all of the light receptors around the dark spot, they're reflecting certain wavelengths, which is why the rest of the eye appears to be green. So what do you think? Was Mantis aptly named after the mantises of our world? Or do you prefer my mantis's name of being Gamora? Let me know down in the comments below. Speaking of mantises, if you remember earlier in the video, I mentioned what real animal is like Scyther. Be sure to check out that video here where you can see little Gamora as a baby. 
Go on, click it. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching.